Joining us now on the line is our good friend Brett Bear from the Fox News Channel, host of Special Report. How are you there, uh, Brett? Hey, Brett. Good morning. Oh, all right. Coffee's kicking in, Emily. Finally, yeah. on the third <laughs> cup. <laughs> nice. And she found the candy basket, so yeah. all is good. All is good, okay. All right, so listen, Brett, I want to go back and talk about something you talked about on Special Report last night. It has to do with this young reporter out of Arizona. Yeah. Bless her heart. Yeah. She gets to, she gets <laughs> invited by the Obama administration to come to Washington so that they can pitch Obamacare and go around the National Press Corps. But as is often the case with young reporters who don't understand the wily ways of Washington, she stepped in it when she said... Also mentioned that um, a lot of times, unless it's something breaking, the questions that the reporters actually ask or the correspondents, they are provided to him in advance. So then he knows what he's going to be answering. And sometimes those correspondents and reporters also have those answers printed in front of them because, of course, it helps when they're producing their reports for later on. So that was very interesting. Yeah, so she says basically the, the, the questions are submitted to Jay Carney in advance over at the White House. And this is, the answers are then and, and, printed back. Yeah, to and, and now look, you, 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 I covered Clinton for a while. You covered uh, W. Yep. Uh, now tell us the truth. No. <clears throat> yeah, and Ed Henry, I asked him about it last night. And, you know, listen, it just not doesn't happen. Uh, now the question is whether... That happened with the local reporters. I can't. I can't tell you that. I, I don't know whether they asked for the questions for the local reporters, but the White House says they didn't. What What I think she got confused, and I, I'm guessing I haven't talked to her, and neither is Ed Henry or anything. But um, is is that sometimes when there's a topic far afield from the daily back and forth on on topics of the day, and a, a reporter has a question about a topic that has not been covered in a while or is out of the blue, or in the case of local reporters, is a local issue, then they would ask you know, that you tell them the topic, not necessarily to spell out the question or print it out. And um, I think there was a lost in translation there somehow, mm -hmm. um, but you know, all I know is that from our experience, it's never, uh, never been the case. But They've Brett, never even asked. Let me just, just let me see up in just a second. Emily. Also, what happens is, is when you do the gaggle in the morning, you often telegraph to the the the, the press office the things that you're going to be interested in, right? Yeah, exactly. You say, "Hey, listen, I'm going to be doing healthcare today, or or something else." You know, you guys haven't talked about Keystone in a while. Um, you know, this is important today or something and so it's a subject matter and just so that you can get an answer but uh, you know brett press this narrative of this obviously this local reporter didn't get it right but this narrative that the white house controls the press that much it really it it no one initially said that's impossible i mean so many people in america thought that was actually the truth and i think it look looking at michelle obama now in china for a week where we have no access to reporters, no reporters on the plane, no reporters on the ground. I mean, how does this fit into the whole narrative that people see this White House as inaccessible? Yeah, I mean, it does. And that's why, you know, everybody, you know, on the Internet and Twitter and it went all over the place. It mm -hmm. exploded. And I think that's because, um, you know, this White House does, Emily, as you know, try to control the message really, really firmly. <laughs> um, right. And... Every White House does, but this one particularly does. And um, I, I think uh, it just fit into that. And you're right. There's a transparency issues that um, all networks and all agencies are fighting every day. And what about this Michelle Obama trip? I mean, you guys, Fox does not have anyone on this plane, no. which is rare, and you can't even get access to her there. How, how, how can anybody cover this? You can't. You can't. And, um, uh, I, you know, I don't know. I mean, these are all issues that have come up. With the the White House, the the Press Association has uh, has brought them up, the Correspondents Association, right? And um, you know, they're battles that uh, we fight for for access. They have not, you know, opened that up. So, Brad, how much are you guys going to be focusing on this Malaysian plane today? I mean, is that just like all you everyone wants to talk about? Yeah, you know, it's interesting. We we try to balance on my show, and I'm only speaking for my show. Yeah. So, um, Special report, uh, which yeah. I watch every night. It's uh, so we led with Ukraine uh, two times this week so far, mm -hmm. and uh, just because where the facts were on uh, the stories. I mean, everyone clearly is watching this story about 370 and wants to figure out what happened. But when there isn't that much moving forward, 
it's tough to justify that it becomes the top story of the day. Yeah. And um, so we try to balance that. Some days it is. Some days um, it will become. It may be that today. We'll see what happens. Uh, but so far, they haven't found anything. Well, what, what about Ukraine? What's your thought on that right now? Well, you know, the, uh, <clears throat> Putin signed this, um, the official annexation of Crimea this morning. And um, there's a sense when you talk to experts who know Russia, know Putin, that this is not going to stop. Uh, that there will be an effort to go after Estonia or Moldova or some other, you know, former Soviet republic. And uh, in in a way that says nationalistically, these people want to be a part of Russia. Um, and so I think there's a real, real threat there in Eastern Europe, and, and they're starting to get it. Yeah, I, I, I've been handed a note here that you're going to have an interview with General Alexander, the man in charge of the, uh, uh, Keith Alexander, in charge of the National Security Agency. Yeah, Tuesday. We are going to do our show from NSA. Oh, my gosh. Are That's you so cool. That yeah. never happens. So we're going to. Where, uh, where are you going to be? We're going to, well, we don't know. And I can't really? tell you if I knew. Are you, are you joking or you really mean that? No, I really am going to do it. I mean, No, I mean, it's joke. you can't actually say where you're going? No, I can tell you. Oh, but, okay. Um, well, you have to kill me, though? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, no, it'll be at, at the NSA, and we'll be doing uh, a long-form cool. interview. That'll be uh, the lead yeah. of the show on Tuesday, and then um, broken up for the rest of the week. And then we're going to do an hour on the NSA. How, how did this all come about? Uh, about seven months of uh, really. Yeah. What did you talk when you just like you know picked up the phone and called your lovely wife Amy? Did you just say to the NSA who's eavesdropping on you? And I can also get an interview. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I may use that, Emily. I'll use that. I'll use that. Uh, no, I mean obviously there are a ton of questions uh, to ask. He's finishing up his term as director of NSA, and uh, if you think about it, one guy who's seen a, an agency that really nobody focused on, nobody knew where it was, nobody knew what it did, yeah. and now it's in the spotlight. I mean, it, it is the most amazing of places. I, I've never been anything other than the parking lot of the place. But but the thing that I know is is that in years past, they used to say that the goal of the NSA was to say in computers, 10 years ahead of what was available on the free market. Wow. A and that they measured computers at the NSA. I, I remember a, ca a Capitol hearing where they said this one time. They measure computers by the acre there. That's an amazing... It is, We're it, going to take a tour. Yeah, wow. you get a give tour, it, uh, right? I can't wait to see that. Some, uh, some video behind the scenes, and uh, we'll see the control centers and the whole deal. This uh, is fascinating. That, that I mean, is, everyone is so curious yeah. what really goes on there. And, and it used to be no such agency. They, they didn't even acknowledge <laughs> that they oh, existed. Yeah. But now they do at least acknowledge they exist. But it's it's very topical and very much Very good you know. get, Brett. Good get there, Brett. Ooh. All right, listen, Brett Baer from your Fox News channel, thank you very much. Good to All right, see you. have a good one. All right,